field looking primed for this match to kickstart the majors. Here we go. Shivers with the kickoff win. No attempt there from Ducky. Dragon keeps his pressure on. Stitch shuts it down. Looking after the minions. Goal line there. The captain. Now Ducky looks to move this up the wall. Missing the connection there. TO3 calm and composed. Dragon no longer a debut. Game two here. For the over 30s. With the over 30s, sorry. Stitch with the target. That was on target, but that cleaned up my shivers. Ducky now in possession to look after this for the minions. Can they clear this and get it back in the TO3 territory? He gets it over, Shivers. Great aerial work from Ducky. Many stages of this game. Would be promising for the minions moving forward. And now got some time in TO3 half. The TO3 seem to have had the ball more in minion territory, although minions have had more possession with 55% possession in favor of the minions. Six looking to move this forward. A demo from Shivers on Ducky there. TO3, calm and composed at the goal line. Happy to take their time if they need to. Shivers tries to pop it up. Dribble it in, but Ducky held his ground. And now he clears it back for the minions. Shut down by Dragon. Stitch saw his opportunity, but Shivers was there to contest. Ducky and Stitch really putting the pressure now on to TO3. TO3 holding their ground, but both teams are. No goals scored. 90 seconds into game one. You can see how much this means to the over 30s and Dolly's minions. Shivers with a shot on goal, and he's in. The first goal in the ATL Rocket League Summer Split Majors. Scored by Shivers. Calm and composed. Ducky was there, but couldn't get there. In time to stop it for the minions. TO3 on the board. How will the minions respond? Don't want to get too big of a lead to catch on for the minions. We have seen that happen in a few games throughout their sun split journey, but they have tightened it up in recent weeks. Eliminating the bears in the bracket and although swept by Steelers really were in that arm wrestle against the strongest Steelers lineup. And here tonight the verse the fierce TO3 who have been on fire. It was shut down by Mac Mafia and Steelers in the divisional playoff. Here tonight to redeem themselves against the minions as Ducky contests. Has it where he wants it? What a save from Dragon! Just to hold his ground under all that pressure. Ducky chucks in a demo on Dragon for saving that goal. All but looked like it was Ducky's and Minions were going to be on the board. But TO3, Dragon was there. Goal line defense to shut it down. Shivers missed the connection. Ducky's hungry for another goal. Wins the 50. Stitch comes in, but Shivers, great 50. One there by TO3, now they're happy to move it across field, left side of field, up in the air, touches it was. They have it right where they want it, TO3, Dragon's there, but not the touch TO3 are looking for. Allows Minions now to set up and move this forward, and that's a great shot coming in from Ducky, he's in! The aerial bombardment from the Minions! Threatening plays, Ducky, with a touch. Closing in on the goal after that nice air roll to get to it. Tied it all up. One all. Two minutes left on the clock. Minions letting TO3 know. They're not afraid to take this battle up into the air if they need to. Shivers trying to flick it. He bumped his opponent. When those are on, we've seen how deadly they are from Shivers. Might need to shake a little bit of rust off. We might see it pop later on in this match. We go into the final 90 seconds of game one. Nothing separates these two teams after that goal from Ducky. Minions holding their ground well and keep themselves in this game against the run that TO3 have had over the last four weeks. Ducky pushing hard, centering ball. Just missed the connection. You can see the minions are starting to get into TO3's head here a little bit. The pressure is amounting as Dragon clears this. Take that pressure off. And now he sees an opportunity to strike. Oh, Stitch is almost there. But Dragon takes the lead back for the over 30s. Taking that pressure right off their shoulders. Just over a minute left. Two points plays one. T03 
TO3 put themselves on the board for the second time this game. A goal each from both of the over 30 plays. Dragon looks hungry for more with a minute left. He looks to set in his ball, but it's shut down by Ducky. Shivers keeping this pressure on the minions. Trying to create opportunities for the team when they can. Dragon saw it. Keeps the pressure on. On the opposite side of field now. Ducky holds his ground. Missed the connection, but Captain Stitch sweeps in. Takes a boost from Shivers and Dragon. Boost still there. Coming in and a demo. He passes it back to his teammate there. Ducky catches it. Shivers is up to contend. Minions win the 50 with 30 seconds. They move this ball forward. 2-1. Shivers demos Ducky. Taking him out of the play and shutting down any form of goal from that centering ball coming from Stitchy. 10 seconds left. Can the Minions get themselves on the ball one last time to make it OT? Shivers misses the connection. Open net. Miss. No Dragon was there. Wasn't an open net, but the shot just veered over to the side. The minions have matched them here tonight. Can they keep that going in game two though? And get a game on the board themselves. As Ducky wins the kickoff, deep entry in the TO3 territory. Shivers happy to just to follow that ball. But Stitch is hungry to keep his pressure on. Dragon passes to his captain and that's worked out for TO3. This could be dangerous. Great 51 there by Ducky. Dragon was coming in with some power. Now Stitch and Ducky look to go on the offense. Stitch trying to push here with no boost. Putting that pressure onto his opponents. 30 seconds in, nil all. Dragon and Shivers working together. It's a great team play. The over 30s in style. Strike first blood in game two. Great teamwork coming in from the over 30 season take the first goal and have the advantage on the scoreboard. 35 seconds into the game. Almost a kickoff goal there. That would have been deadly for Minions. Last game when TO3 scored the first goal, the Minions managed to match it. Can they do that here again in game two? Oh, Stitch just missed his opportunity. Didn't go in the way that they were hoping. Wasn't on the angle. Now TO3 are back on the offense in Menden territory. Shivers is missing that connection and Ducky sees his opportunity as he moves the ball forward. Dragon slows the play down, pops the ball up, stitches there, saved by Dragon. Intense stuff coming in from the minions. TO3 holding their ground. Shivers now moves this ball forward for the over 30s. Ducky interferes. Stitch and Ducky holding the ground well. Calm and composed minions here tonight. You can see the seeding stage and divisional stage has helped both these teams out. Gain some experience in the ATL arena. Some minions are on offense here. Trying to put TO3 in a bit of a chokehold. Keep him in defense. Create the opportunities for themselves. You know, if you do that for too long, TO3 will shut it down. Open things up and strike on the goal. I've seen it happen a few times against a few teams. Minions still have the ball in TO3 territory. Can they capitalize while it's here? TO3 on their ground well. No goal has been scored since the 34 second mark of this game. So Minions have definitely tightened things up. What a save from Ducky. That was on target for sure. Look deadly and Dragon sees his opportunity for goal two, but misses. Ducky saves the goal again for the Minions and now looks to move the ball forward with an air dribble. Trying to be fancy in the air, but shut down there. Bartio 3 sees his opportunity. He's stitched, but Shivers clears it away from Stitch's aim. And there we go. Shivers is in after holding his ground and defense. Clears it to the left side of field. Ducky just not there. And Shiba scores on the right-hand side of goal. 58% possession. Plays 42% in favor of the Minions. So Minions have had more possession. But TO3 have been more effective when they've had the ball. Two goals on the ball for the over-30s. Can the Minions tighten things up here? 
Tied all up, it's back to back goals, and there you go, TO30 in. What a setup from Stitchy. Ducky keeping himself in the play there, and saw his opportunity to get the Minions' first goal in game two. Two points one, two minutes left on the clock. Feels like we're in familiar places here. Score of game one was two points one in favor of TO3, and Ducky. In an awkward position as Dragon comes in over the top to strike after Shivers sets that up. TO3 take a two point lead back, three points to one. One minute 50 left on the clock. How will the Minions pull this back? TO3 get two games up. Minions are going to have to do a reverse sweep. To kickstart their major series, and here we go. This is something not in the crossbar, not working out for the minions. But TO3 happy to clean that one up, move it out of danger. 90 seconds left on the clock. Minions look like they're setting up their wall. Keep this ball in TO3 territory. TO3 are pulling the possession back with 46% possession for TO3, 54 for the minions. Ducky sees his opportunity after that demo. But TO3 just making it incredibly difficult for the minions to strike. Keeping it to the side of field as much as possible. Oh, Stitch! Oh, he got around Dragon! Pops it in for the minions. Shivers rotating back. Stitch flicks it in on the right of Dragon to strike and he pulls the minions back into this match. Three points two, just over a minute left on the clock. Ducky wins the kickoff. Trying to keep his momentum going for the minions. Shivers clears this back into minion territory with a minute left on the clock. Oh, not the look they were looking for. Not the look, the touch they were looking for. Stitch and Ducky survive and not have to concede a goal. Stitch with the demo, but the goal's in! Oh, the minions have pulled it back. It's 3 all with 40 seconds left on the clock. Dragon with the demo, but it still went in for the minions. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's game on in game two. Shivers wins the kickoff. Veers over to the side of goal. Minions are right in this, if they can get themselves on the board here. The see game two out with a win. Makes it easier for them to stay in this match with 30 seconds left. Three points all in game two. Shot on goal, shut down by Dragon. TO3 starting to throw everything at the Minions. Touch not working out there for Dragon. But Shivers calm and compose up the wall. Bump by Stitch. Works out for the minions. Allows them to set up as Dragon shut down that forward movement coming in from Ducky. Centering ball, but no one's there to strike. Stitch clears it with a second left. They keep this ball alive. Will we go to overtime? Will someone strike with the ball alive? Ducky moves the ball forward. We go into OT. TO3 not willing to risk it. Ducky winning the kickoff. Shivers caught that. Miss the boost there, Tucky wrapping around, but Dragon's there to shut it down. Putting this pressure on the TO3 in the early stages of overtime. Stitch saves that shot coming in. Dragon demo Stitch for saving the goal, maybe. Shivers now trying to take the game on, but Ducky shuts it down. Caught by Ducky. Shivers saw that. Just holding his ground in a very intense match. The experience. Four shivers played in the pilot season and now the seeding divisional stage of the summer split. Most experienced player on the field. Save coming in there from Dragon. And no doubt would help Dragon in this intense match. Shivers has been here before. He knows what it's like. Can he get it in? It's shut down by Stitch. As he moves this forward. Dragon though with the touch they're looking for. Shivers with another demo. Shivers with three demos in this game. We're at just over a minute into overtime. And Ducky contends there to keep this ball in TO3 territory. Minions doing very well here. Putting all sorts of pressure on the over 30s. You can see that it's starting to crack them a little bit. 
Some plays that usually work out for them aren't here in certain moments. So the pressure is amounting from the minions, but we know what TO3 is capable of. Dangerous coming in from over 30s and Dragon. Ducky's with his opportunity and he scores for the minions. Calm and composed. Taking it right down the guts as Shivers took out his opposing captain. Ducky saw the open net and strikes. One minute 42 into overtime in game two. Minions, they're on the board. They're right in it, ladies and gentlemen. Who will claim game three? In round one, match one of the major qualifier. Dragon keeping this pressure on. Minions trying to keep the ball in their territory. The minions just seem a bit, bit more cool, calm and composed this evening. Compared to what we've seen in previous weeks. Been a little bit shaky. They struggle to pull things back. But tonight, they're on their game. Not to overlook TO3 though, TO3 are throwing a lot at the minions right now. Shivers with his opportunity, but Ducky shuts it down. You see that when TO3 move forward and put the offensive pressure onto the minions. It's got a very intense feeling behind it. So if they can crack this game open, no doubt they could get those goals in, but the Minions are just a fierce opponent here tonight for TO3, and rightfully so. They've been working on their craftsmanship. Oh, but Dragon strikes first blood again. Back-to-back -back games. Dragon has taken first blood. A Shivers bump stitch out of the way from saving that goal. Not allowing it to happen. Just over a minute in, TO3 have the lead. One point play, zero. Goal scored by Dragon. How will the minions respond? TO3, Shivers looks calm there with the flick just off to the side. Sitch looking to clear this, but Shivers has other plans for the over 30s. Keeping this pressure on the minions as much as they can. Trying to turn things around after that game two defeat. And only in overtime. Apologies for that, if you heard that, ladies and gentlemen. Stitch clearing is, popped it over. Ducky, that's a great touch. If Stitch is there, they can strike. The minions, they're in. Team plays coming in from Dolly's minions. Season tied all up. Tore the defense apart, moving back. The minions are in one point play zero. Just over three minutes left on the clock. TO3 win the kickoff. Oh, what a save from Stitch. That was so dangerous coming in from TO3. But Ducky clears this. Great clearance. Not the touch Dragon was looking for, but it veers it over to the side, which allowed his captain to come in. Stitch contends there with Shivers. Less than three minutes remain here in game three. Stitch with a shot on goal. Saved by Dragon. Saw some strong defense coming in from Dragon in his debut and following up here in game, the second match, sorry, with some strong defense. The minions looking to chip it apart here. Shivers gets around and he's in here, ladies and gentlemen, with a turtle. He just missed that touch. Shivers strikes for the over 30s and takes the lead back for TO3. Two points plays one, two minutes 30 left on the clock. We're halfway through game three. TO3 only just took the advantage back. A light touch from Ducky. Sort of worked out for the minions. Dragon gets it over Stitch, but Ducky rotated around well. To be there for the minions goal line defense. Stitch with a threatening shot, shut down by Dragon. And they keep this pressure on here. The minions keeping the ball in TO3 territory. Ducky looking to contend, but the ball's popped over. Stitch is in phase. Happy to take that game on and miss the connection. Ducky was there to follow up, but a bit of hang time allows both teams to set up here. TO3 have their defense set up quite strong at the moment. You can see the minions throwing all sorts to chip away. 
This TO3 defense. Shut down there by Shivers. Minions launching whatever they can at their opponents. TO3 with the advantage in possession. 55% plays 45. Now TO3, they're looking for their opportunity to set up an offense and strike as Shivers off the backboard. Stitch is there to clear it to the side. Minions trail by one. Looking to get themselves on the board and tie it up here with a minute 10 left on the clock. Shivers just missed the connection and now here's something cooking for Stitch and Ducky. Centering ball but Shivers demo Ducky taking him out of the play and eliminating any chance of that centering board. Stitch with a minute left. Demo his, cap his opposing captain for taking his teammate out of the play. Still in the possession there with Stitch. Aggressive stuff coming in from the captain. You can see how much this means to the minions. Want to get the advantage in the overall series score. Dragon scores for the over 30s. Extending their lead to three points. Three points plays one with 40 seconds left on the clock. He caught the minions off guard and struck. Making it even harder for the minions now. You never know what could happen. 30 seconds left. If they can get a goal here, the minions. Shut this play down and move downfield. Put themselves on the board and maybe get a kickoff goal. It's game back on. But right now, TO3 with control of the game. The shiver saves that. 15 seconds left. TO3 happy to see that count down. Stitch doesn't have the boost. Ducky just missed. The touch is not working out for Minions there. TO3 will claim game two, three points to one. Or maybe Minions might strike one last time. No. TO3 claiming game three. Whoever wins this match will face the winning team out of Steelers and Grizzly Bears, which is on tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Minions had the ball right where they wanted to kickstart it. Shivers. What defense. What a save coming in from Dragon. The Minions have come out so fierce here in game four. TO3 just holding their ground, not looking the buzz. What a save. That was threatening coming in. Stitch. Both TO3 players had to take on Stitch there to shut that from coming in. Shut that down, sorry. Warping from Ducky, keeping this pressure right on the TO3. You can see the minions. They're hungry to win this. They want to win this. They're keeping the pressure on TO3. They've had the ball for the majority in this first minute of the game. Over 30 shut down that play. Ducky with the demo and shivers. Stitch keeping this ball on TO3 half. Credit to TO3 holding their ground. Pops it over, but Shivers is there on the goal line. Demo and Ducky for a bit of revenge. And now Dragon looks to move the ball forward. Saved by Stitch. That's a great clearance from the minions. Shivers just missed the connection. Stitch pass it back to Ducky in the corner there. Ducky looking to send center something. Dragon missed the connection and Ducky's in. The minions have taken the first goal here in game four. And for the first time, they've taken the first goal of the game in this match. The start they'll be looking for, 90 seconds in the game four. Can they keep this momentum going? Will TO3 overcome them? And tie it all back up. This takes this in TO3 territory. The minions look to keep this ball in their half and put a bit of a choke hold onto them if they can a demo coming in there from ducky two demos from ducky in this game what a save from shivers that long shot oh wow well, ducky's in for back-to-back -back goals the minions with a strong start here in game four as we approach the two minute mark ducky scores his second goal in game four Minions have 55% possession of 45% for TO3. And Stitch 
That's not working out there for him in the kickoff. Centering ball. Great centering ball, but shut down from Stitch. That was threatening play from the over 30s. Now the minions look to keep this pressure. Build this pressure onto the over 30s. Ah, oh, Stitch is in! The aerial work. Off the wall, follows it, and touches it with the side of his medic on the nose there to get it almost dead set center for the minions. Three points to zero. This is the biggest lead the minions have had here in this match. He's gone in the final seconds of the first half in game four. TO3 now have the ball where they want it. Can they get themselves on the board as Tucky shuts this down? Tries to pop it over and he does! The aerial dribble coming in from Ducky straight down the corridor. The minions are just taking this game right on. It sees them with a very, very healthy score right now. Four points to zero in the first half of game four. So we go into the second half. How will TO3 stop the bleeding? Get themselves back into this game. Dragon and Shivers working together to try and clear this, but the minions are just there. It's Ducky demos Dragon gets back to shut that cold all play down. Shivers, the connection not working out. Maybe the minions are in their head as Ducky's gonna go for his fourth goal. He gets it for the minions. Five points to zero. This is turning out to be an upset here in game four. What a turnaround from the minions. Five points play zero. Four goals from Ducky, one goal from Stitch. Season with a very healthy lead with two minutes left. TO3 clearing this, but they're just not able to get their offensive plays on. Here could be something coming for TO3. Time in offense. But the minions have just done so well here in game four to shut it down and strike. Stitches in for the minions. Six goal. This is a upset coming in. After the last three games we have just seen, we were definitely not expecting the scoreboard to be 6.0. With just over 90 seconds left, Shivers always with a touch. He was looking for, but not working out there for him. And now Stitch clears it off the wall. Shut down by Shivers. Ground held by Ducky and now takes on Dragon. Demos him in the process. We've seen a lot of those tonight. Four from Ducky in this game alone. And he's right back in the play. The dribble coming in. Pops it over. Ducky's in for his fifth goal. And the seventh goal for the Minions. This is an absolute blasting on the scoreboard. Ducky just making it very unpredictable there on his opponent and the minions no doubt in TO3 head after their performance here in game four and it's not over we have just over a minute left Ducky looks to strike again but a great touch from Shivers shuts that down below over 30 a minute left 7.0 look you never know what could happen here but you just feel like this is the minions game here in game four a 7.0 lead is very healthy, very strong as well in a game like this. TO3, if they can get themselves on the board and get some momentum going into the tiebreaker, game five, no doubt will help them feel better in that nail biting match coming up. 30 seconds left, 7.0, and the minions just keep this pressure on the TO3 crew, keeping this ball in their half. Creating as many opportunities as they can as Shivers gets over Stith, but Ducky's there to clear it. Wow, the minions with a very, very strong performance here in game four. Can they keep this going? They will win game four, and it will go to a tiebreaker. As the ball touches the ground there with that demo from Stitch, the minions 
with strength down in game five, the tie breaker. Stitch and Ducky just figuring out what they're going to do there in the corner. TO3 keeping his pressure on them, looking to flip things around. Wilkins not working out, but centered. Shivers just putting the ball in the corner. Find right time for everyone and Stitch and Ducky bump into each other. Stitch now trying to insert himself in the game, but TO3, they look like they're definitely hungry. They look, look a bit more. Bit, there's a bit more movement in TO3 here in game five. They know what's on the line. What a save coming in there from the over 30s, working out. Stitch just not centered there. TO3 clear at the minions with a strong start, holding their ground here in game five, shutting down the easy opportunities for TO3. For a minute into the game. No goals have been scored yet. I don't think we saw things really open up until just after the minute mark last game, but you can already feel that this game is going to be a close one. At least right now, because none of these players are budging. Holding their ground in defense and being fierce in offense when they can. TO3 look like they've got some offensive wall set up and that's it for Dragon! Dragon strikes first blood in game 5 for the over 30s. Exactly the start that they would be looking for. Ducky just not able to get there in time. How will the minions respond? Will they be the next to score a goal and tie it all up? TO3 will not be going goalless here in game five. This Dragon moves his forward off the wall. That's in! Back to back goals for Dragon. This is the start. TO3 would be one as we approach the two minute mark in game five. Dragon has scored two goals for the over 30s. Season with a healthy lead on the scoreboard. 60% possession plays 40% in favor of the over 30s and they keep this going on this pressure on the minions. After a strong game four, can the minions follow up? Stitch is there and strikes first blood for his team. The captain opens things up on the scoreboard for the minions. Taking Dragon on and pops it over. Three minutes left on the clock. TO3 win the kickoff. The minions shut it down. Deep entry here. Stitch could be over his second goal, but TO3 come in and sweep that up in the likes of Dragon. Now looks to move this forward. He just missed that connection, and Ducky sees his opportunity here. Will the touch work? It does! The touch worked out for Ducky, and the minions strike. Back-to-back -back goals for the Minions to tie it all up here. Approaching the halfway mark in Game 5. Shivers wins the kickoff. Is that a kickoff goal? Just veered over to the side for Shivers. Pass back to Dragon. Connection missed. Everyone whiffed it there. But it worked out well for everyone. TO3 still have the ball where they want it. Minions can set their defense up. There's a threatening shot coming in from Shivers, and now Ducky looks to return the favor up in the air, but Shivers says no. We'll take this ball back down to your half. Dragon trying to go for the demo there. Oh, Bob, what a save from Stitch. TO3 can strike, and they do. They take the lead back. Three points to two. Two minutes left on the clock. The captain steps up for the over 30s when needed. And they see themselves with the advantage. Here with two minutes left on the clock and they want more goals. Is that shot on goal bit over to the side from Shivers and now Ducky looks to move this forward to tie it all up. Can he do it? He gets it over Dragon and the minions are in. 
what a goal from Ducky. Out playing Dragon there, bounces it over him. Making his plays unpredictable there. He's done that a couple of times here tonight on Dragon. Three points all, the minions are right in this and Ducky looks to go for another goal, he's in! The minions take the lead. Four points three. With one minute 40 left on the clock, the aerial work coming in from Ducky tonight. Very strong for the minions, like we said at the beginning of the game. If the aerial work that we were seeing then ends up being more pungent and powerful throughout this game, it could work out for the minions. It did in game four, but will it here in game five where it all matters? TO3 look to respond as they trail by one point. Dragons there, will this be something? Just not the touch they were looking for. Now Stitch looks to dribble this forward from the right hand side to the corridor, contends with Shiv. Shiv is cool, calm and composed. Now looking to go on the offense for his team. Trying to set something off the wall, happy to speak. Um, Contest won there by Stitch and Evita over to the side, but very threatening plays with a minute left coming in from TO3 in minion territory. This is what they want, where they want the ball. With 50 seconds left on the clock, if they can strike here, they're right back in this game. Minions with a one-point advantage with TO3 throwing everything at them. Ducky gets over Dragon, but Shivers shuts that down. Bumped by Ducky there, and Shivers takes the boost. He's over to the other side of the field with 30 seconds left. Minions could be in here, saved by Dragon. You can see how much this means to the over 30 crew. So they move this ball forward. They just need one goal to get us an overtime. Dragon with the demo. The goal missed. Not working out for Shivers. Oh, no. Not TO3. What were they looking for? Oh, just unfortunate. They have another opportunity here. Here's an open net. Dragon's there. Saved by Ducky. TO3 have to keep this ball alive now to score. Otherwise, Minions have won. Bumped. There by Stitch was Dragon and Minions claim game. Congratulations to Dolly's Minions for their impressive victory, showcasing their skills and determination on the virtual pitch. Well done to the over 30s on their magnificent effort here tonight. First time Shivers and Dragon have played together in the ATL arena. Stay connected and primed by subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on social media for all the latest updates, highlights and behind the scenes content. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. I am c 3 signing off with anticipation for the next wave of excellence in the ATL Rocket League Summer Split Major Qualifiers.